In America right now, some might say there's a soap opera literally unravelling daily across the news. That is, of course, the 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump. Now, Donald Trump, as you know, has been a huge supporter of the United Kingdom. But there's one particular person that he didn't recently get on with, I say recently, for the last few years. That is the newly elected mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. Now, Sadiq amazingly got back in for a third term, shocking many different people, although the postal votes are still a little bit, shall we say, uh, interesting, to say the least. Now, here's where it gets very problematic, because as everybody knows, the United Kingdom, Great Britain, our wonderful country here, has a very special relationship with the United States. It's gone on for many years. But now that looks in peril, all thanks to the fact that Sadiq Khan has decided to basically claim that Donald Trump is this. Let me explain. It appears that Sadiq Khan of London has been criticising Donald Trump, accusing him of being a racist, a sexist and a homophobe, and urging his Labour Party to be more vocal in condemning him. In a recent development, Labour, which is currently projected, allegedly to gain power based on polling data, seemingly offered a gesture of goodwill to the Republican presidential candidate. Budding David Lammy, who's also a radio host and the party's foreign affairs chief, stated that Trump is frequently misrepresented and in terms of his policy. Here's where it gets really interesting because Sadiq Khan desperately wants to be taken seriously in the world of politics. And of course, the former president of the United States referred to Sadiq when he hit London as a stone cold loser. So there's no love lost between these two. But as a lot of political people over here are saying, quite frankly, you know, there's going to be no winner other than Donald Trump. He's going to be more powerful. And of course, the Labour Party right now over here in England, which hopes, as I say, to form a government at some point, and no doubt will have to deal with the President of the United States, have no truck with Sadiq Khan. So while he may have won a third term over here in London, it looks like the Labour Party, particularly Sir Keir Starmer, who's desperate to appease anybody to get into power, is ready to cut ties. So while all the celebrations have died down, seemingly it appears that Sadiq still thinks he's something of a superstar, but looks to be cutting it short and right down to size. A huge mistake, many people are saying. Interesting development. Meanwhile, over in America, the Trump trial continues. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.